Ahoy, Captain, and welcome to Two Minutes Off, a series in which we explain rules and regulations in the maritime industry in just two minutes. And in this episode, we will discuss EU ETS, what it is, why it is, and how it impacts your vessel. Your time is precious, so let's get started. If there's one thing to remember about EU ETS is that in the end, it will result in carbon neutrality. What do I mean? The system itself revolves around the fact that the total carbon emissions or carbon equivalent emissions will be reduced to zero. Yes, this is very far on the horizon, but it will happen eventually. So what do these lines represent and what does ETS stand for? It is the emission trading system, which is a carbon tax for ship owners. What we need to know is that for every metric ton of CO2 equivalent, you must pay one allowance. So basically, if you emit 100 metric ton of CO2 equivalent with the current price, you have to simply pay 6,500 euros. This is the basis, but the devil is in the detail. The full scope looks a bit like this. All ships between 405,000 GTs carrying cargo, no matter the flag, are subject to EU ETS when sailing in the EU. It requires yearly monitoring as per EU MRV, monitoring, reporting and verification. And also you have to pay each year or surrender your allowances. That's what the A stands for, European Union Allowances. The full scope is, as you can see, way more complicated, but this picture clearly shows that over time, more ship types and sizes will be included, more greenhouse gases will be included, and the total phase in the amount of allowances you have to pay will go to 100%. The process itself revolves around three things. One is collection of data, two is submission of data, three is payment of allowance. So there are three dates that are important. By the end of February, you need to submit everything to verify. By March, it needs to be submitted to the administering authority responsible for your ship. And then finally, by the 30th of September, you need to pay for the amount of the allowances of the previous year. Of course, you only have to pay when sailing in the EU, then you have to pay 100% of your emissions and from and to the EU, it's only 50%. So how is this calculated and how much do you have to pay for, let's say, a regular sized vessel as far as there is such a thing? Well, the calculation itself revolves actually about one thing, emission factors, and then of course, how much fuel you consume. So one allowance is to write to emit one metric ton of CO2 equivalent, which is calculated by taking the fuel consumption and multiplying it with the applicable emission factors especially if you use multiple fuels different ships over time etc it can become complicated but this is basically and for a regular vessel or i should say a tanker that consumes 10,000 metric tons of fuel oil and 1,000 metric tons of mdo per year you almost have to pay two and a half million euros with the current eua pricing over time that of course very much depends on the type of fuel and the price of the eua show you historically what happened with the EUA price. We started in 2005, it stayed quite low for some time and then it skyrocketed almost to 100 euros per allowance. And most organizations, including Maersk, agree that it's gonna go up to three or maybe 400 euros until 2050. And that has to do with the fact that ultimately the amount of allowances will go down to zero, driving the prices up, resulting in more decarbonization. And that's, of course, the whole idea of the EU ETS system. And that concludes our two minutes of EU ETS. It is pretty hard to cram everything in two minutes and we went a little bit over time. Have a look at the extended masterclass if you want to know more or sign up to Sustainable Ships. Become a member to download all our tools, save yourself a lot of time and trouble and get support anytime from our crew. We are here to give you the tools that you need in order to decarbonize your ship. So sign up today to get all those benefits. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.